Hey guys, this is Harry. Let's talk today about performing a SWOT analysis. What is it? Why might we want to perform a SWOT analysis? And a little bit about how do we do this? So, what is SWOT? Well, this is an acronym that stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. So imagine this, that you're working in a company and you want to evaluate some things in your operations. It might be that you want to evaluate your underwriting process within an insurance company. Or maybe you want to look at the accounts payable system. Or perhaps we want to evaluate our customer service team. So we would get together our subject matter experts for that particular subject or domain and we would begin to evaluate strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Now a lot of times projects are born out of these exercises. They may put together a project charter and submit that to the project board so that the project can be approved and we begin the process of uh, improving things within the operations. So a little bit about how do we do this. What do we mean by strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats? When we're talking about strengths, we are asking ourselves, what are the th things that we're particularly good at, okay? What skills and knowledge systems and processes do we have that really distinguish us from uh, the competition? Weaknesses, we're looking at what are we deficient in? What do we lack in terms of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques? Opportunities. Opportunities are a combination of factors that are coming together at a particular time. We want to seize that window of opportunity. What about threats? Well, threats are those things that hinder our ability in achieving our objectives. What are the obstacles in the road? So if you're needing to evaluate some things in your organization, whether it's at an enterprise level, uh, at a department level, at a portfolio or program or project level, consider the use of this powerful technique, the SWOT analysis.